What's going on guys, Avery 13 here. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about the Spartan Harzy folder. This is the DLT exclusive uh, Warthog edition. This is a nice knife, guys. Um, holy crap. Uh, I've had this thing for, for several months and never carried it. You know, I said, eh, that knife is too nice for me to carry. And it just sat in a box. There's the box, just a regular old box. Just sat in the box. Too nice to carry, I told myself. I'm not going to carry that knife. Guys, carry your knives. Unless you just have something extremely exclusive that, you know, maybe there's only one of a kind and it was handmade by, you know, an, an Egyptian pygmy or something. I don't even know what the hell that means. If you've just got something that's just stupid exclusive, okay, don't carry that one. If it's made out of meteorite, okay, don't carry that one. Guys, the rest of the knives, 99% of the knives that you're ever going to have, carry them. Okay, carry them. And I struggled with this, right? I, I mean, I, I struggled with this. Um, and so I get it. You know, this is an expensive knife. Uh, this is a knife like this I never thought I would own. And so when I got one, especially not be you know, being an exclusive, not being, um, I hate to say a plain Jane version, but a plain Jane version, you know, if I would have had it, I would throw the plain Jane version in my pocket. Probably... Uh, a whole lot sooner than I threw this one on the pocket. Um, but you know, I come to the realization, these, these knives are there. You, you're paying this much for a knife because it's a quality made knife. Okay. A quality made knife is going to be a knife that you can carry. You can carry, you can use it and you know, it's not going to break. It's not going to fall apart on you. And if it does, most of the knives like this have excellent customer service, you know. Um, but I had to go on a tangent there for a little bit because, you know, I, I, this is something that I struggle with and I think a lot of us do. You know, we get these things and we call them sweat safe queens and we don't, um, you know, we've got these beautiful knives that, that, never, that never see the light of day. And, you know, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go down a, a soapbox for too long about this, but if you've got knives like this, guys, carry them, show them off, be proud of them. Um, so real quick though, just wanted to show this guy off and, you know, Spartan makes many other, um, you know, uh, themed knives. This one just so happens to be the DLT exclusive, the Warthog. Um, you know, they've got a ton of absolutely, uh, you know, just gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Uh, this is a this is a big knife though. Just wanted to kind of show everybody. Get, I'll run over the specs real quick. The overall length on this thing, eight point seven five inches. This is I mean this is a big knife. So if you don't like something this big, get the get the three point two five version. Okay, this this one has a three point eight seven five inch blade. They make one that's a good bit smaller, a lot more uh, of a normal size. Uh, I think they call that one the three point two five. Um, and of course. Most of them are going to come with a, you know, regular type blade or a Damascus blade. And, you know, the prices will vary on those. Uh, action on this guy, as you can see, I can use the thumb studs, flick it out real nice. Very smooth, hydraulic washer action. If you've ever felt a uh, well-broken in Chris Reeve, that's what this is going to feel like, right? Um, you know, closed length, just under five inches, something like 4.875. Um, guys, this, I mean, this is a big knife. Uh, in fact, this may be the second biggest knife I have. Uh, right now, the biggest knife in the collection is the Medford 187. Look, if you've ever seen a Medford 187, you know this is a big knife, right? Well, look at the uh, Medford right there compared to the Spartan. Gives you an idea of its size. Um, here's an XM18. For those of you who don't have an XM18 or are unfamiliar with them, uh, it's roughly about the same size as a paramilitary T, right? So I'm gonna try to line those up, you know, uh, that's pretty close. So imagine that's a paramilitary T there and you're starting to get an idea of, you know, this is a big, this is a big knife. Okay. Um, let's see, slim midi. I'll throw the slim midi up there. One of my absolute favorites again, though, slim midi is a good bit smaller. Um, this is a big boy. That's a big boy. Um, and then 
And here's a Chavez Ultramar Street, good bit smaller. Uh, this is the chisel grind. This is the exclusive. But just wanted to take a few minutes, guys, to show you this guy. Th this is very much in the ballpark of Chris Reeve. Um, a lot of people would say it's better than Chris Reeve. A lot of people wouldn't also. A lot of people are going to say, you know, that's a back and forth thing. But I, you should know that this is in that same tier. Chris Reeve, Spartan, um, Hinderer. You know, you're talking top tier stuff. Les George VECPs, uh, McNeese. This this is right there with them. A ton of different themes. Uh, they've got a Plague Doctor one that I thought was really cool. Um, you know, the DLT one. There's I've seen some with fur trees. Uh, just a ton of different options. And this is a knife that you can use that will last a lifetime, but it's also going to look good, right? You you're gonna you're gonna be proud to to pull this thing out of the pocket and, and show somebody if they ask if you got a pocket knife. You may not want to let them use it. You know, maybe want to bring a, a Swiss Army knife or something for somebody else to borrow. But um, this is this is something that if you have, carry it, okay? Um, don't let it just sit in a box. And that doesn't just go for this. This go, That goes for anything, you know. Uh, any of your nice knives, like I said, unless it's just a complete one-off custom that there is literally only one of in the world that's made with unobtainium and meteorite space dust. Okay, I get it. Put that one in a case, put it in a box. Don't don't carry that. All the rest of these that you're going to come across, yes, this is a $500 knife. All right, the Damascus version, I think, is about $600. It's about $600. Even those, use them use them. Okay. That's it. That's my rant, guys. Just wanted to take a few minutes to let you see this guy, let you know that they are absolutely, um, I think worth every penny. Um, and they're also a knife that you can carry and use. Don't, these are users. Okay. Don't forget that. Um, if you get a knife like this, use it. If you want to get a knife like this, use it. Take care guys.